Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are awesome. I know I tell you that all the time, so you're probably numb to it. You're like, yeah, 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 I'm awesome. But you are. You are awesome because you spend time with me. You hang out with me even if it's for 8, 12 minutes, probably because you like magic. I love magic. And uh, I use this platform right here to elevate magicians and magic houses who want to sell you the latest and the greatest. And I want to open the box and tell you exactly what you get. Today, we're going to look at Nostalgia from Michael Huat. You might remember he did socks. Remember the socks trick? The socks, the matching socks effect? Yeah, he did that. So this is Nostalgia. Nostalgia is done with a Viewmaster. Remember the old retro classic Viewmaster? Yeah. Uh, Viewmaster, uh, 200 bucks. <laughs> it's $200. $200 for Nostalgia. So um, I don't know how much the original Viewmaster cost, but yeah, 200 bucks from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. What is nostalgia? Nostalgia is a effect that you could use as close up, but it's probably better uh, for parlor. I think this is a great parlor effect and it's really priced for uh, a parlor effect professional magician. Um, what it is, is you introduce the Viewmaster, you remind everybody like, hey, remember Viewmaster? They're like, oh yeah. And you bring out all the different little Viewmaster reels, okay? And you can put several in the Viewmaster and they can look at them. You can say, hey, what are you looking at now? And they could say, oh, this or this or this, right? You're like, yeah, tons of different kind. You take all the Viewmaster reels, throw them into a bag, zip it closed, mix, 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 right? Mix, 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 mix. Unzip it, open it, turn your back. They can reach in and grab one, they can reach in and grab three and then select the one they want and put the other two back, zip it back up, and whether your back's still turned or your eyes closed or a, you know, or a, a blindfold on, whatever, they stick that reel in the Viewmaster. They go chunka, 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 however many slides they want to do at random, stick it up to their face, and you ask them to memorize what they're looking at. And then you can just pick up the psychic vibrations and you can just tell them what they're looking at or you can get a pad out and write it down. They reveal it to the audience, you turn the pad around and you are always right. All right, so 200 bucks, what are you gonna get? Uh, you get a nice big box. Inside that is a fully working Viewmaster and it's really uh, a good Viewmaster. Like I used to have a Viewmaster when I was a kid. So remember, I'm, an, I'm a grumpy old man. <laughs> I'm, I'm 55, so I... I I've, I've lived through that era. <laughs> I remember exactly how it felt, what it looked like, how it sounded when you hit the little lever. So this is a, a nice prop, okay? You get something like uh, 10 reels. Yeah, 10 reels. Five examinable reels, five forcing reels, and one reel is actually a commercial for Murphy's Magic. You can see all the different tricks that you could buy. And then you'll get your uh, forcing bag. You get a force bag. It's a mesh force bag. You can see all the way through it. It's a, it's a perfect prop. So is it what I thought? Well, absolutely. I mean, as soon as I saw the bag in the trailer, I was like, yep, I know how it's done. And I was, I was completely right. And the tutorial is only 18 minutes. So this is not difficult to do at all. The props are gonna do all the work for you. I mean, 18 minutes is not a long time for an explanation. So yeah, it's, it's not difficult at all. And I said well made, right? I said well made. How's the video? How is the video? Uh, you got Michael, he's in front of a curtain. I don't believe he's wearing a mic. Uh, you get the trailer, he talks about what you get, how the Viewmaster and, on, and the reels work. He talks to you how to force a reel if you were gonna do it like a deck of cards. And then he talks to you about how to force the reel using the bag. And then there's some subtleties he throws in there. Uh, there's also a special bonus reel in there that is a reel just of his son going through the princess card trick. So each different frame is a different frame from the princess card trick. And it's totally for the spectator. They just do it while they go through the Viewmaster. And uh, it's, it's cute. Although I don't understand. I don't understand. I'd have to ask Michael about this. So I put the princess card trick reel in there. 
right? And it, you go click and it says, are you ready for a trick? And you go click and his son comes out with a top hat and cards and you go click and it shows all the cards and it says pick one and then you go click and then he says, oh, I took a card out and I'm right there with him. I'm like, yep, this is the princess card trick. And then you go click and he goes, your card's missing. And of course it is. And you go click and the last, the last slide, right? The last frame says, to damn. T-A-D-A-M, to damn. Is that a language thing? Like I've never heard of the word to damn. To damn, is, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a personal joke. I don't know. I was expecting to da, which is T-A-D-A, but mine said T-A-D-A-M. I don't know, did I get a typo? I don't know, mine's broken. <laughs> mine's broken. <laughs> um, pocket space, of course, you'll need all those props, which is another reason why I say this is probably better suited for parlor, right? Because you're walking around with a Viewmaster and they're not small. You're probably gonna carry everything in the box that it comes in, its shipping box. And then you got the, the mesh bag and then the, the reels. I wouldn't want to take those reels outside and have the have a spectator drop one in the dirt because you don't want those things to get scratched. Um, and they're they're I mean they're not they're not you know indestructible. There's still there's some fragility to them. So I kind of feel like this is more more of a parlor trick, but inspectable for sure because probably your adult audience has held a viewmaster. They know how it works, and you'll show them several slides and they'll see those slides are different. And they will they can actually put those slides in the bag themselves personally so there's they should be thinking that there's a chance that they could even get they could select the slide that they examined right which they won't there's no chance of that but um i think inspectable they're definitely going to feel like they had they had their their hands on things right they had they had their chance to inspect things um no setup no reset it works like a charm yeah, it's a great little trick. Positives, what are the positives? Nostalgia strikes a chord with everybody who remembers this classic toy. What a fun trick, sure to be a hit at your next mentalism event. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? Uh, the first negative is the outcome is always the same because you have five reels, they're all identical. Even though the pictures on those reels are different, you're still gonna draw the same image or you're still gonna describe the same image. So you can't do this trick twice. Also, another reason why I might say this is better for Parlor is because of lighting, okay? The Viewmaster requires um, lighting to see, right? It's using light because the Viewmaster itself doesn't have a light source. So it's not gonna work like outside in the dark, right? That won't work. But uh, the way Michael teaches it is um, he has the spectator hold the reels up to a light to see. Like, hold that one up. Oh, it's Disneyland, hold that one up. Oh, it's like pictures from my vacation. Okay, hold that one up. Oh, it's like people picnicking, right? Like how we used to hold up slides. But you might not be able to see them if you were in a low light situation. I would just say, give them the Viewmaster, have them stick the slides in there and use it in real life. Like, show them that the slides and the Viewmaster work. Hand them different ones or have them take, you know, whichever ones they want. So I, I just, I would say, I don't know that it's gonna work on every light source for sure. Last thing I would say is uh, the video tutorial was a little strange. It was a little strange. Um, 18 minutes seemed short, but then watching it, it also seemed like sometimes Michael would be talking and he would just cut off, he would just get cut off abruptly. Like there were, there were big, huge, hard slicing edits through this like the tutorial was supposed to be longer but they edited it so that it had continuity or you know made sense or just cut out extra things that you didn't need but there definitely seemed to be like a, just an editing issue with the video i know that's really petty but i don't know it was just something i not i saw is it worth your money it it is two hundred dollars <laughs> and that is this is really one of the most expensive tricks i've seen in a really long time and the only reason I can see is, I mean, you have a custom made Viewmaster and reels. Like that cannot be inexpensive, right? That all had to be developed and outsourced, right? And made for you specifically for this trick. So this isn't just like a regular card trick or something with silk. This was a, a manufactured item with research and development 
They had to go through testing trials. You had to find the right, you know, manufacturer to do this, make sure it worked. Like, I'm sure a lot went into this. So uh, for 200 bucks, I definitely think this is probably priced for the Working Pro. But that's everything. That's everything I can say about nostalgia. And I hope I've answered questions for you or at least introduced you to something that you didn't really know much about. And if that's the case, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, push all those buttons. That really helps me out a lot. And big, huge props to Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, how would you like access to even more magic reviews? You can, you can get access to two extra bonus videos every single week. Did you know that? Hey, I make videos Monday through Friday for free and I do that for you guys. I never ask for a dime. You guys don't need to pay me any money. Magic and YouTube is not how I make a living. But if you would like access to two extra videos, you can join this channel for the low, low price of $1.99 a month. That's right, you'll get eight, eight extra videos every single month. Now, what are these videos? Well, these videos are tricks that I purchase with my own money because I'm interested in them. These are the tricks that I see, that I want, that I think are gonna be cool, and so I take time out and review those for you in the membership section. Eight videos, two a week, for only a buck 99. All right, so how do you join? Well, down below, right next to where it says Magic Orthodoxy, there should be a button that says Join. If you don't see that button, there's also a hyperlink in the description of this video. Once you click that, it'll take you to another YouTube page where you'll be able to put in all your information and join with your dollar and 99 cents. Of course, you can join for uh, month to month or you can join for the entire year. It's up to you. And of course, you're free to cancel at any time. And again, you don't have to do this. This is not me asking for money. This is just another thing that I make available to you should you wish. Of course, you just coming here and supporting me on social media, uh, any one of my other social media channels by subscribing, by following, that is support enough. That is all the support I need from you guys. And believe me, when I see you guys reach out, when I see you guys comment, it means the world to me. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you for believing in me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.